Good, how are you? Doing good. So, coach, so you just finished your first series with UCF, got the sweep. How do you, how would you think, how do you, how did your team's pitchers look today? They're good, they're good. It's always uh, important to, uh, when you start the season, get those, uh, those uh, butterflies out, the nerves. There's, you always have that every season. So getting that, that first inning, that making that first pitch for each guy that gets out there. You know, obviously there's still other guys that still haven't gotten the game yet, but uh, they will soon. So getting that first one out of the way is always important. First series, you know, first game, all those things. So um, did a good job, did a good job. Uh, you know, we'll uh, continue to work on every week, just getting better. Let's go back to Friday. What did you think of Rudy's game? I thought he threw the ball well. I did. I did. I, I think in the last inning there, he did get a little bit tired. Uh, I also believe that um, he was one pitch away from getting out of there. You know, really that, that last hit, that 0-2 pitch he left in the zone. Um, you know, that, that obviously hurt, gave up two runs um, and uh, got them back in the game. But uh, overall, I thought he did a, a good job. But there's always uh, some work to be done, um, you know, and uh, we'll definitely continue to do that. And then what about Cam start? Some nerves, some butterflies yeah. there oh, for yeah, a young showed. guy? They showed. I mean, you can see it obviously in the first inning, uh, you know, walking the first two hitters. You would expect that. You know, obviously a young guy, here he is coming starting on Saturday, first time out there. So I uh, was not surprised to see the nerves there. He did settle in. He made some big pitches when he needed to. Uh, but he definitely had a – uh, made it harder than it had to be getting you know, those leadoff walks in three, three of the, uh, the five innings he pitched. So, what are, you, what are some collective improvements you guys could do in the rotation at these guys? You know, what one of the things that uh, you know I really stress these guys is just controlling counts. You know, getting ahead, first pitch strikes, pound in the zone, make the hitter swing the bat, and uh, you know I felt like we did a good job of that today. Uh, only one walk. You know, the past couple games could do a little bit of an improvement, don't want to give those free bases away. So really just going to continue to emphasize the, the controlling the bats. And then what about Dom's performance today? I thought he threw the ball really well, um, right from the beginning. You know, he came out and uh, set the tone and just kind of continued on. He really did a good job executing pitches and was able to use all of his pitches and uh, was able to give him a good mix and kept the hitters off balance and uh, kept them guessing. What did you like about Cam's outing on Saturday? I liked how he competed. You know, like I said, those leadoff walks, you know, putting guys on to start the inning and then uh, to be able to make pitches when he needed to. Uh, you know, I felt like he did a good job, too, of throwing strikes. He did a good job of controlling counts, uh, you know, outside of those walks. You know, so I think you just got to bear down on, on those, those first hitters of the inning, really go after and get that first out and, and really stress that. So, Coach, what brought you back to your alma mater after your years with the Atlanta Braves? Well, I just uh, needed a change. I uh, wanted to be closer to home, and then this opportunity came up, and I'm really thankful for it. Uh, it, it feels good to be back in black and gold and uh, be close to home and uh, continue to, to you know, do what I love to do, which is baseball. Can you, okay. tell me, can you tell me how that hire ended up coming about from your perspective? Greg talked about it back at Media Day. But... You know, he just he reached out to me, and uh, he had informed me that uh, Nick had left and, um, you know, just kind of touched base there, and he said we'd be in touch. And so we, uh, you know, communicate, uh, communicated uh, after that a few times, and, um you know, and then pretty much the rest is history. It took, you know, a few weeks and, um, you know, spoke to him several times. And, and, and then eventually uh, right there at the beginning of, of January uh, was, was when I was hired. As someone who's from Orlando and went to UCF, uh, how big is it for you and your family to be back home, basically? Oh, it's great. It's great. I'm so grateful. Grateful to, to uh, like I said, when I left Pro Ball, Pro Ball pulled me away from my family a lot. And so I didn't know what was next. And, you know, for this opportunity to come, come along and, and, and be able to be here uh, you know it feels great and I'm, I'm really thankful for it what are some of the I, biggest differences going from the Braves organization to UCF you know I mean obviously you know the, the talent level uh, a lot of the kids you know in the, in the Braves organization are this age so I'm used to working with these uh, age players uh, you know but it's still the same game you get between the lines you know there's three strikes and four balls in the count you got to get three outs in every inning play nine innings so uh, you know it's the same game and uh, you know, trying to accomplish the same things with these guys as I did in, in the uh, Braves organization. Co Coach, when you first joined the Braves and saw that you were their minor league rehab pitching coordinator, one thing that has faced this this Braves this UCF pitching staff these past couple of years has been injured pitchers. So, what from that skill set that you you know gotten with being with the Atlanta Braves that you can take with you like that to this? I mean, absolutely, now? I, I knew about the the history, the the health of the pitchers, and, and how that's. Uh, you know, been really tough uh, the past couple of years. So health has been, you know, one of my main priorities. You know, the uh, pitcher can't help the team unless he's, he's healthy and he can get out on that mound. So, you know, that's really just emphasizing, just really monitoring the throwing, the volume, 
um, and doing all those things that, uh, that you have to be able to do to, to not only stay healthy but not doing too much, you know, so finding the right balance. So I think that was really the biggest thing, uh, you know, just being in the game and being able to have that experience. You know, I, I got injured many times, so I, you know, I had that perspective from, from experience, so I think that helped too. Speaking of health, how is Ben Despy doing and when do you expect him back? He's doing really well. You know, he threw a, a, a bullpen today. Uh, he's going to be facing some hitters early next week and, and you know, working his way back to, to games, and it should be really soon. We're really uh, looking forward to him getting back on the mound and, and in games. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome.